Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today because I just bought thrifted vintage clothing, but like a mystery box of it. I don't know what's in this box. This huge box weighs more than what I, I can't even pick it up. I think the box weighs like 100 pounds, I'm not kidding. So let me explain. I was browsing through Laura DIY's channel and I saw this video where she had ordered a box of mystery clothing from this place where they have all this vintage, cool, edgy, popular vintage clothing. You can order a massive box full of it. And she did that and I love Lauren. So I was like, I wanna do it too. So shout out to Lauren. I'll link her video down below if you guys wanna watch hers. Basically I ordered 25 pounds of vintage t-shirts, 25 pairs of vintage pants and five mystery hoodies. And they had a section where you can order five like Harley Davidson stuff and their stuff's pretty trendy, their vintage stuff. Stuff. So that's what's all in this box. I have no idea if I'm gonna like any of it, but I'm gonna tell you this. They had on the cover picture of like what some of the stuff looked like. Some old school Alabama Crimson Tide football shirts. That's my team. And I am praying they threw some of these in here. Now it comes from Florida, which if you don't know, Alabama sits on top of Florida. We're close. My fingers are so crossed because I would just die for a vintage Alabama tee. I don't, I only have one sweatshirt that's a vintage Alabama and I don't wear it anymore. I have it storage it's so sentimental so if I was able to get a piece in here I'd be so excited but hopefully I like some of the stuff because I don't know what I ordered I'm about to bust it open right now and see smash that subscribe button and subscribe before you and we're just gonna have to go ahead and jump in I'm too excited I gotta get into this box I've also had this box at my house for a long time and I've been waiting to film this video so let's see what's in also a confession my cat like sprayed the box so that it the, the box smells like cat pee okay I'm opening it with you. You guys get in here. <gasps> All I see is a squawking eagle. <laughs> oh, it's a Harley. Oh, that's so cool. What in the world? Oh my gosh. I don't think you said it, but you ordered $475 worth of vintage stuff here. $475, Laura. Oops. So thick. This is how filled it is with clothes. Like, oh, there's t-shirts wrapped into t-shirts. Holy crap. Actually, yeah, this shirt's pretty sick right off the bat. Like, I want this shirt. I'm into it. Are you trying? Oh, Wait, it says America Pride. All right, that's a little aggressive, but American. you know, American Pride. Eagle. <laughs> okay, but it is an authentic Harley Davidson shirt. Guys, there's a code for you guys. And also, uh, this is like sustainable. So, you know, sustainable vibes happening here. Oh, whoa, the back of this one's cool, babe. Whoa. <gasps> Do you guys know that this is where I was born and raised? No, different place. <laughs> Never mind. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, this one's dope. I'm gonna crop some of these for sure, but the ones Ty won't hey, how do you This one's so cool. Oh, look at the back of this one. This one's awesome. Okay, I love this. Uh, Obsessed. I probably will crop this one. I love the colors. Oh, this one's from Ohio. They're from everywhere. This is so cool. This one is got the motors. This one's from Monumental. Okay, we don't know where that's from. Yeah, that's um, where the president's faces are, but they put. Cycle oh, I didn't understand what was happening. I like did not get the oh, joke. Oh, they've already cut off. The oh, wow. This this shirt's definitely seen some mileage on the road. We got Arkansas to Tony Town, Tony Town. But that's sick. This is a vibe here. Oh, this is like a woman's fit tee. Okay, I would say this is the one I like the least, <laughs> but already like all of these are so freaking bomb. All right, this is your 25 pairs of corduroy pants. I don't remember ordering 25 pairs. You ordered 25, sweetie. Babe, they don't even have the sizes on them. What if none of them fit me? <laughs> then I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> oh my God, mistakes were made. You wanna hold up this first maroon pair? All right, we're size 10. These are 10? That's what it says. Like women's or children's? I don't know, it just says Cause 10. Cause that's like a really teeny tiny 10. These are Wranglers. We have a black pair. We have a tan, or this is more like a gray. We have green. Girl, these are JC Pennies, thirty-six thirty. Hey, that's for you. This is so funny. We have four pairs of black corduroy pants. You messed up getting twenty-five. I pairs didn't of pants. realize I ordered twenty-five pants. That was the most expensive item that oh, you ordered. Oh no, 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 no! He's digging in the whole box. <laughs> the whole box. Please look, it's all corduroy pants and 
none of them are gonna fit us. What are you gonna do with all these if pants? If you see me wearing oversized corduroy pants, don't say nothing. Just know, mistakes were made. <gasps> Look at this tie, I can't. I literally don't even remember clicking that. I'm still, there's more, there's more. I can't with you. <laughs> Please help me. Ty, I may have overdone it this You time. have an online shopping problem. <laughs> this is what it looks like if you have an online shopping problem. <laughs> You should make a blanket out of them. <laughs> honestly, something. A corduroy blanket would honestly be so sick. Okay guys, we're gonna finish diving into this box where it looks like hoodies are up next, but first a little word from today's sponsor. Thank you to ExpressVPN who's sponsoring a portion of today's video. So basically ExpressVPN encrypts your network data, which is going to protect your information from hackers. So if you're on an encrypt, unencrypted network, such as at the airport or somewhere public and you're using their internet, their Wi-Fi, your information can totally be stolen. So you're gonna want ExpressVPN on your computer to protect you and all of your information they can totally be stolen. For me, I like ExpressVPN because I own multiple businesses. And when you do that, you have a lot of people's information. You have a lot of information yourself that's going back and forth. You know, you're emailing a lot, sending out a lot, working, traveling. Definitely need something to protect your, to protect your internet. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Netflix and other streaming services give you different shows depending on where you live. But with ExpressVPN, you can change your online location to access hundreds of hidden shows. So there's a lot of good uses for ExpressVPN. I mean, you can even use it to watch your favorite TV shows in other country. It also protects you from hacker stealing your information, which obviously no one wants. So they have a little deal for you guys. Find out how you guys can get three months for free by clicking the link in the description box right down below. I'll have it at the top of the description box i'll also put it right here on the screen so you guys can see where to go check it out expressvpn.com forward slash laura lee shout out to expressvpn all right we're gonna jump right back into this box and see what hoodies we got all right jumping right back in the first hoodie i see is by arkansas razorbacks okay looks like we got a lot of sec teams up in here Perfect. it's cute you know I'm i better not see you wearing hey. this hey Hey. Okay, the next one we got. This one's a little smaller. Well, who is this, babe? Central Connecticut. I have no idea. I have no idea. Dude. Next, we got the Colorado Buffaloes. Yes, do you know who they are? I do, yes. I do not. Is this a professional football team? No, it's college, baby. All this is college so far. Washington. I like the color purple, but this hoodie looks like it's for a little kid. <laughs> Where's America University? Where American. Is Hold on. Where is this from? It does, it's just champion. What is American University? I have no this idea. This is so interesting. Where do these clothes come from? Okay, wait. Maybe two more hoodies and then we're getting into the vintage tees. <gasps> okay, here is a sweatshirt. It says 2004 Universal. <gasps> wait, this is a Universal, like the um, amusement park. Is it? And I actually really like the size of Universal this Universal Island of Adventure. What yeah. does that mean? I think it's I think it's Universal Studios. Oh, it must be, yeah, because it's got Spider-Man. Right? And... Now, this one has a little paint stainage on it, and this one's just like a plain That makes it champion. extra vintage. It does, you know? <laughs> I feel like Urban Outfitters would definitely charge more for the paint stain. So, and this is a nice oversized uh, champion sweatshirt. Apparently, you can sell your old sweat clothes for $400. <laughs> oh my gosh, so interesting. Okay, now if you'll take a peek into the box, this is where it's about to get really crazy because we got so many vintage t-shirts, which is what I'm so excited for because I'm hoping there's an Alabama one in here. We didn't get any Alabama hoodies. Fingers crossed we get an Alabama vintage tee. Let's dive in. You got a lot. I'm gonna try on some of the stuff at the end, so just hang tight with me. First one, you know, I don't even know. Let's see what this is. It reminds me of, you know how when they put um, like a wolf on a t-shirt yes. and it's like all tie-dye yes. and like lightning? This is giving vintage. Yeah. All right, I'm not mad at it. It is giving 90s actually. Where do you think they get all this stuff? You think they go around I'm at thrift wondering. stores? Well, it's such a mixture of different states. They're definitely not just getting it all from one area. Like it, this is coming from different areas. This is for sure vintage because this Adidas logo looks old. Adidas. This is a really old Adidas shirt, which is pretty cool. Okay, okay. What is next? No. Okay, this is definitely an old Nike shirt. Babe, have you seen one vintage shirt or piece that you want so far? Uh... <laughs> that means no. What about this?
this one, babe. This one could be good for you. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, definitely no. Where friends are family. And a celebration like, of age. And it's got like paint all over it as well. Is this a nursing home t-shirt? <laughs> Because I will wear this. I think it might be. Okay, we got another hoodie tossed in. Do you know who the Detroit Red Wings are? Yeah, it's a hockey team. Hockey? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, this one's cool. Wait, I really like this one. This is a Harley Davidson zip-up jacket. It has some bleachage. Yeah, that just makes it more But I think it, it definitely makes it more vintage. So it's a size large. Does it say Wisconsin? Wait, where? On the front. But... Look at that. That's really cool. Wait, I really like this. What does it say? Harley Davidson, probably. Oh. Yeah, Wisconsin. Dang. I don't know where they're getting all this stuff. Okay. My favorite stuff so far is the Harley Davidson tees. See, those, we're going to have to fight it out because we both like those tees. That was a win. I'm getting that cut, cut off sleeve one. That one's mine. You can have that one. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. The Lawrence Welk birthplace? What? They're definitely robbing nursing homes. You're wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas City, Missouri. Hospital Hill Run. Oh my god, I think they are taking No, stuff. I think that was for like a 5K. Is this from a hospital? <laughs> a hospital put a on a 5K. A hospital in a nursing home? Hi, I'm getting concerned. All right, we got another hoodie. Or you were scammed. I'm scammed. Okay, this one's cool. This one's really cool. This one's giving me 90. This could be sold at Urban Outfitters for sure. What does yes. it say? Bob's Auto Body. Yeah, this is giving the vibe. I also appreciate the size of it. And we also got a little bit of paint splatter. Right here too, look. Oh, yep. nice. They definitely painted a bedroom. What about on the back? Is there anything on the There's some uh, yellow paint okay. right here. So this one is a winner. That one's a winner. Is That's the coolest one. Is this a cat shirt? Because if this is a cat oh. oh, it's a mushroom shirt. Oh my God, Aaron's going Aaron's going, it mushrooms. looks really cool. She'll love how vintage it is. It just says mushrooms and then it's, it's like so faded. faded. This was someone's favorite t-shirt once and it Definitely. ended up on a YouTube video in Los Angeles. How did that happen? <laughs> it's going to go to Aaron Weaver. Okay, wait, this shirt's cool, babe. This is a vintage Nike. Does everyone paint in their old t-shirt? Yes. They're like going to painters and stealing their shirts or something. I don't know. Because every yeah, shirt. That's why people are getting rid of them because oh, they got paint, they on, paint them. on it. Got it. Someone painted a room pink for sure. All right, babe, what is this? Okay, this one's so cool. I'm this a Yankees fan. Are you? you guys are want Am I? Wow. I just don't know basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, this is cool, babe. That's very cool. Wow. New York Yankees. Hawaiian legends. All Someone right. picked this up in the gift shop in Hawaii <laughs> for sure. 150th anniversary to the pumpkin vine baptist church where is this place that's a bible verse the anniversary of what the church the church all right <laughs> That's cool. Uh, we got another sweatshirt. This one is so thin. Someone, look at that. Someone loved this sweatshirt. They stretch the neck out. Let's see here. What is this space? Michigan Spartans. State. All right. Yeah, it's a All college. Right. January 2001. This shirt is 21 years old. It's a Super Bowl shirt. Whoa, for real? Yeah. Giants versus Ravens. Okay, that's pretty cool. Who won? I have no idea. <laughs> they also spilled some beer here, I think. All around the collar. It's oh my yellow. God. Could be sweat. Could be puke. Oh, that's <laughs> sick. Okay, next we got another Harley Davidson t-shirt thrown in here. Sick. Sicko. This one's pretty cool. Oh my yeah. gosh. Wait, look at this side. Las Vegas. That's cool. I'm gonna say, oh, look at the neck. Oh yeah. I've seen some things. This shirt is haunted. Okay, we got another blue tee, and this one is from the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad. That's very specific. <laughs> is there anything on the back? No, nothing's on the back. Oh, that is the back. The, oh, that was the back. <laughs> I literally just bought someone's trash. For literally. Sure. Well, now we got an Adidas tee. All right. I'm not seeing an Alabama shirt. Oakwood Homes, incredible. Just ask me. All right, well, you know, I actually do like this red tee though. I think it's cute. We got a summer baseball shirt and it is rancid. Sumner, oh. I don't know what Sumner is. Sumner? Yeah, with a hole in it. I wear this to baseball practice. You should, it's cute, that's for you. Oh, here's a little sweatshirt. Oh. I know it's a little Nike, it's so large. It's got some major bleachage. Oh wow, a lot of bleach at the bottom here. Oh really, let me see. Oh. Someone got in a fight with the bleach. Yeah, are we having random bleach fights? And then getting away <laughs> the clothes? Bleach fight! I will have a stroke if I see an Alabama tea. I just don't think that's gonna happen. All right, I can see you in this Bob Ross looking shirt. This is very Bob Ross. It's from 1992. Okay. And so that means the shirt is 
Oh. All right, we got a San Diego shirt. This one's from Manuel. Kind of like a sweater shirt. I could see him. I in could this. see him in this. This is his fashion. This is from the 80s for sure. He says 84 on it. Wow. This is from 1984. It's like a Nautica. Wait, I might not be able to give this up. This is like pretty great. That's very vintage. This one is Komar. Someone tell me where a Komar school is because I have your t-shirt and you need to come <laughs> And if you want it back. And if you want it back. I'll sell I can, it to you. I can, yeah. For $400. <laughs> no cheaper. I'm just kidding. Okay, next up is from 1993. Wait, what's this? I thought it was an Alabama shirt. You bought $400 worth of stuff for an Alabama shirt, honey. I could have just bought you an Alabama shirt. I want shirt. a vintage one. I want a real <laughs> vintage one. Jeez. Kevin Harvick. Who are you? Oh, he's a race car driver. NASCAR. But king of beers. Hell yeah. I'm Damn taking this yeah. one. I actually do like this one. This one's sicko. This one is thin as a piece of tissue paper. Oh, it's gotta be old then. And it's rancid. New Orleans French Quarter. This doesn't sit right with me. Yeah, there's a little spot. That's kind of gross. All right, we got a little Hard Rock Cafe Las Vegas. Bleach stains. Yep, I'm gonna pick that up in the hotel. <gasps> yeah, for sure. Air traffic. I don't know what that is. This is, looks like dookie. I think this was somebody's work shirt. Okay. Well, I have your work shirt, and then we have this. Now, this is cute. Green Bay. I like this a lot. This one's very cute. Do you uh, like the way they cut the neck? Yeah, I do. I'll show you guys at the end, by the way, which pieces I'm keeping. What the hell are you gonna do with all the pieces you don't like? We'll figure it out when we cross that bridge. Hey, this one's kind of cool. You know, we got some ducks. It looks like it's Canadian geese. I would keep this one because it's long sleeve and I like the material of it. So I like this one a lot. This one is giving Aaron. It has vegetables on it. The Bountiful Abba. It's a recipe shirt. Oh, this shirt's so cool. I'm, I'm being serious. It. Isn't that so cool? Let's see. Wow. Wait, what's it say? Bob something. It looks like a race car driver. It has knots in his hand. Yeah. This one's really, really cool. I, I really like this one. I wish I had the Shit. year on it. Is there anything on the back? Nothing. Looks like a, remember those shirts like we this. used to get in Panama City? Like yeah. the spray ones? It's got the Chevy on it. Missouri. Things are happening in Missouri. I don't know what this means. Bear Creek float away from 1990. Now this is where I find to be interesting on this shirt. That little piece of crust right there. Mm. This shirt reminds me of stuff kids wore in elementary school. Oh my God, it says California on it. Yeah. It's a Cali tee. Uh, why is everyone... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Okay, wait, I know this professional football team. All right, what are they called? The Bears. <laughs> From where? Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this one's cool. Yeah, it's cool. We have a little Unite Away uh, t-shirt and that's the back of it. The front of it doesn't have anything on it. Pretty simple there. Next up, this is also giving a shirt. I've seen, you know, like when I was in elementary school or something like Jeez. that. You remember stuff like this time? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, baby. I can see you wearing this. Babe, what is Pitt? To college. Oh, we're almost done, but hang out till the end. Cause I'm gonna show you what we're gonna keep. Ooh. Okay, a little champion sweatshirt. A little painter sweats, sweatshirt. Some sweatage here, Just stains. Anna, he has little painters. Okay, this is the last shirt. Last piece, y'all. It's not an Alabama shirt. It's another shirt. Pittsburgh. With a, someone had another bleach fight. Yep. You guys gotta stop having these bleach fights, man. You're ruining all your t-shirts. <laughs> and that is that. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put, okay, like, no, no. Wait a second. No. Y'all, look how thick. This stack of clothing is right here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's a lot of clothing for, for almost $500 though. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go through right now, pick out my favorite ones that I wanna keep, and then I'll try them on and do a little fashion show for you to show you what I think is the best. All right, dude. We, have, we are actually in luck. This pair of Wrangler nice corduroy pants actually fit me really well they I, look good on you yeah thank you i really like these these are a win out of the 25 pairs i found a pair that i really really like so i'm gonna be keeping these for sure we have a winner looks like western to me yeah did you check the pockets maybe there's like a hundred dollar bill or something <gasps> in it oh let me check no no hundred dollar <laughs> bill nothing 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 this shirt is a 10 out of 10 for me 
What do you think? I like it. It goes with your pants. Does it? I'd wear this what? with like a leather skirt or something like all like cinched up. Still matches your pants like, though. Does it? Yeah. Okay. I'm into it. I really like this shirt. Cool shirt, dude. I'm stealing it. Hey! Next I got the sweatshirt. I like how oversized it is and I think it's very cute. This one is a win. What do you think? I think it's very 90s. Yeah, it's like it. great. Is Bob's that... auto body. Yeah, boy. What do you guys think? We have a winner. Someone cut the sleeves we discovered on this just to make it a little bit cooler, but this is actually that shirt from 1984. Yeah. This one's pretty cool. It's like a real vintage shirt, and I like this one a lot. It's another it says something win. on the sleeve, doesn't it? The other sleeve? Yeah. California. You say California? That's so cool. I'm into this. I like this one. I like it too. You look good. Thanks. Next up, we have a shirt where it's business in the front, a party in the back. Yes, ma'am. And I really like this shirt. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces. I plan on dressing this up and potentially cropping it if time will let me. That one's yours. You go for it. Give it a little slice. Poor Kevin. Could even make it a tank top. I feel like this one is pretty bomb. I just love the back of it. You need to Google this guy. Hey. Probably should Google it before I wear it. Harvick. But uh, it's pretty cool tea. Okay, I kind of want to crop all these and then I'm going to be mad at myself cropping them because I'm going to want them to be big oversized shirts. But this one's so cool. I love the colors and I love the 80s vibes to it. So this one is another bomb piece that I found. See, we had some real winners in the box. No Alabama shirt, which I'm still a little, you know, sad about. But we still had some real winners in the box. But like, I feel like you like about 10 pieces mm -hmm. for 400 bucks, $475. So that's about $50 a t-shirt. Yeah, we'll count how many pieces we're gonna keep and then we'll divide how much I paid for it. At the end, at the end. I like this one. <laughs> Except for it has this nasty stain here. So I'm not really into that. Other than that, I do like how comfortable this is. Like I would probably wear this around the house. So I'm keeping the Packers. I'm not necessarily a fan. I don't know anything about pro teams, but I think it's a cool shirt. Green Bay Packer fans are screaming right now. <laughs> I'm like, la, la, la. This shirt looks really cute on you. You like it? Yeah, it's really nicely fitted. It's my Sumner baseball shirt. I like this one. Should I, I'm thinking cut the sleeves off on it. I don't know, it's, it's nice and fitted. Big hole right in the crotch area. <laughs> what was this? Someone thing? got hung on something and got very angry. I can feel that. Um, yeah. This looks good. Pretty cool, this one's a win for me. Thank oversized Harley Davidson tee. See, I think this is the one you should cut up. Yeah? Like cut the sleeves like cut, off. Take the sleeves off on this yeah, one? Yeah, cause it's a little oversized. Yeah. The back is too cool. Is it? Yeah, I love the back of it. All these shirts smell like a thrift store. They've probably been sitting sure. in a thrift store for yeah. a minute, but this looks really good on you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. This one shows off the guns. Ty, is this one your favorite? For the ladies. Yeah, we were spacing on what this was called. It's called Mount Rushmore. Oh. I don't know why we were spacing on it, but it's got yeah, Harleys instead. I like the cutoff. This cut is off. pretty cool. Yeah, like see, it. worth $400? Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna show you a layout of everything we're keeping and let you know how much I pretty much paid for this stuff I'm keeping. So this is what we are keeping. We have a pair of corduroy pants, a jersey, a mushroom shirt for Aaron. These are some Harley shirts we decided to keep. As you know, my 80s shirt. Found a great pair of regular corduroys. This is Ty's favorite shirt, I believe, the sleeveless Harley. Yeah. Little jacket from Harley. This is Ty's baseball shirt. This one, you know, it's in question right now, but right now we're gonna keep. Uh, and then we have some more Harley bud, and then these two are some of my favorites because I love the colors on them. So in all, we have 15 pieces that we are keeping out of the box. Sheesh. How much did I pay for the box? 475. So. So 475 by 15 is $31. Yeah. So $31 essentially is what I paid for each piece, which for vintage tees, maybe not the best in the world, but I paid a lot more for t-shirts out and about in the past. So I can't complain. And this was a really fun video and I loved the mystery factor. However, if I would have gotten one Alabama shirt. It would have made it all worth it. It would have made it all worth it. Darn it. But anyways, 
That's it for this video. I hope you guys totally enjoyed it. I know I did. We had so much fun finding yeah, treasure. This was fun. It and was. We, we didn't have to go hunting in the store ourselves. Exactly. So. It's just send plus. the store to you for the small price of $475. I mean, you don't have to spend that much. You don't. Because you don't have to get 27 pairs of corduroy you don't. pants either because that was $200 alone, Miss Lee. That was half of it, over half of it almost. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm out of control. All right, well, anyways, don't forget to check out ExpressVPN to protect your self, privacy, security, and you can watch shows when you're out of the country that you yeah. love. Be sure and check out their link I will have in the description box down below, and you can find out how to get three months for free, which is an amazing deal, and keep yourself out of hacker's way. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be sure and smash that subscribe button if you want to join this YouTube Bam Jam. We got all kinds of content happening over here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.